Hello Church, we're continuing with our series of the book of James and today's passage is slightly longer so you might want to pause it and read it for yourself before you continue. The passage is James chapter 1 verse 9 to 18 and there are some very practical things in this passage that we should give time to consider especially if you are worried about your economic future which I think is something that is common to each one of us in this day. And we can take comfort, James tells us, in whatever our economic situation is um, for the following reasons. Firstly, because of our very high position. Being sons and daughters of the living God means we are heir to all of God's riches. And none of these things can be taken away from us. What a wonderful thing to boast in. But secondly, we can also boast in our low position we are all dependent on God for everything that we have. Our lives can be so transient and can change in an instant, but we know that God is the master of our destiny and he is a good master who has secured opportunity for us to know salvation in him and therefore eternity with him. And what an incredible thing again to depend on that grace that won't fail us. What a wonderful thing to boast in. And then the passage goes on to speak about enduring trials and temptations. Now we all face trials and temptations because none of us are free from evil desires. But the point is do not let our evil desires give birth to sinful action which ultimately leads to death. But rather there is an opportunity for difficult circumstances to prove who we really are. So use this trial that you're experiencing and the possibly even greater trials to come to prove on whom and what you rely. So for example, if you are tempted to be anxious or to be overcome by fear, how do you choose to prove that you trust in our faithful God? Or if you're tempted to put your own needs before others, how do you prove that you have the Spirit of the Living God in you that is leading you to greater love and, and grace towards others? So whatever your temptation today, how can you submit to God and prove who you really are? And then the passage ends with a wonderful encouragement about the stability of our God. You know, our world is in an absolute state of flux and change, and none of us can say where it is going to end. We just don't know. But one thing we do know and that we can stand on with absolute certainty is that our God is stable in all his ways. He does not change. And he is still the source of everything that is good and perfect. What a wonderful, dependable truth. And how can we know these things? Well, remember, God's word is the source of all of this. And that's why James refers to God's word. It's in God's word that we know God's character. It's in his word that we meet Jesus and understand his saving work that he's done for us. It's in God's word that we understand how the spirit connects us to the father and to one another and secures our place with him in eternity. So I encourage you today to spend time in God's word you may never have an opportunity like this again. Make the most of it to strengthen yourself in God's word, that you would be strong to face whatever the future holds for each one of you. Know that we love you and are praying for you. Be blessed today, church.